I'm Kata Niba and you're watching Generation Now. Season 2 of Into the Badlands premiered on March 19th with even more action and intense storylines. It features or it's one of the few shows on TV that features two lead Asian actors. I love the show. You guys definitely have to watch it. Joining us today are the two stars of the show, MK or Aramis Knight who plays MK and Daniel Wu who stars as Sunny and is also the executive producer yep. of Into the Badlands. Thank you guys so much for being here Thanks today. For having us. Um, as I mentioned, I saw the first episode of season two and I was blown away. As always, the first five minutes, that mm -hmm. action scene. Yep. <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> How did you do that? I mean, with the props and everything, it almost reminded me of a, a little bit of Jackie Chan. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, we're definitely going for that feel. It was, um, it was interesting because when we got the original script, it says that Sunny gets out of that yoke, the wooden oh. yoke thing, and then starts the fight. But right. when we, when the fight team started looking at the scene, they're like, you know, it might be interesting if we just stay, kept in there yeah. and fought with that thing on. And mm -hmm. I think that adds the sort of Jackie Chan element at, at, to it because you're adding props to the fight. Right. And so then he's fighting through adversity with this stock on, this wooden stock on his, um, on his neck and hands. And so that kind of creates a different situation for Sunny because Sunny. Season one, every fight except for the Abbott fight at the end was easy, pretty much easy for him. So yeah. this season, he's fighting through a lot more adversity. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get back to his family. He's also weakened because he's been a slave for six months, you know? Right, right. And so there's a, he starts off at a much lower place than he was the season mm -hmm. before, and he's got to fight his way out of that, you know? Right, he's right. got no weapons anymore. Nope. Yeah, yeah nope. no weapons. No I'm weapons. <laughs> Speaking of fighting, Aramis, um, I heard that you knew no martial arts when you started this show, <laughs> yeah. which was shocking to me. But um, how has the training been for season two? Oh, uh, I mean, it's been good. Uh, I spent a lot of time in between season one and oh, season two okay. uh, training. Right. Um, I was already actually pretty decent coming in. I was mm. already pretty used to, to running and jumping because right, I, right. I have a big basketball background. He's very so. athletic. He's yeah, very yeah. Athletic that, that helps I a lot in terms of the training. Yeah. For sure, but I lacked flexibility mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. um, that was one thing that I was I was really <laughs> bad on, and it would always right. hold me back a lot. I would yeah. either get injured or I wouldn't be able to do the things that want that they wanted me to do. But mm -hmm. he uh, forced me to stretch every day. <laughs> and, uh, I, I send him yeah. texts. Are you yeah. stretching? Yeah. 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 I'm surprised you're not there with a whip. <laughs> I send him pictures in restaurants of my foot like up on well, the rail. Here's the thing: is like in training camp, you oh. can only control so much, and right. then when he's off, he's off doing his own thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna make sure that when he's not working with us, that he's working on his mm -hmm. his skills. Yeah, but it's funny. I became such a better basketball player after you did. training. Yeah, sure. I'm yeah. so much faster now. Right. I'm just more range of motion on my body. So mm -hmm. even just, you know, going up to lay the ball up, I'm able to contort my body in a lot more yeah. ways. So. Yeah, now Daniel was talking about how his character is a lot different in this season because not weaker, but less confident, I felt. Sure. But with you, I feel like you grew a lot more, not just physically, but um, you're fighting your inner conflict yeah. and everything. Let's talk about that. Yeah, well, I, I think um, I think psychologically MK is maybe in a better place because mm -hmm. he's being fed properly and he's, um, you know, although he's in a place where maybe he doesn't have, you know, all the say in the world or all the freedom that he wants, at yeah. least he's, um, you know, being being developed. and. Right. Uh, and he quickly becomes friends with um, his abbot, who's named Ava, mm -hmm. uh, and um, they they develop a really interesting relationship. So I'm excited for everyone to kind of see that develop, and um, everyone will probably eat their hearts out that me and Tilda aren't together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, at all, or can well, you give us a? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not saying anything. Oh man! <laughs> well, this you know the interesting thing about this season is the characters are all split apart. Yeah. You know, last season we were all grouped together in, this, yeah. in the Badlands, and now those characters outside the Badlands, the characters inside the Badlands, mm -hmm. and what you're feeling, what you'll feel over the season is that eventually we'll all meet up, oh, that's right? what once I'm we find each for. other, yeah. and and that's the kind of momentum of the show for the yeah. season. Yeah. yeah. Now, Daniel, you have, um, I don't know if you'd call him a sidekick, but it's mm -hmm. a little more comedic partner. this time. Partner. <laughs> partner. <laughs> He's partner in crime. He's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Talk about working with him. Nick Frost yeah, is Nick am Frost. amazing, <laughs> amazing. Um, you know, every must, everyone must know him from the Cornetto trilogies, you know, Paul, uh, Shaun of the Dead, oh. uh, Hot Fuzz, uh, Hot Fuzz all, oh those, all those gosh. movies, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. And he was a great addition to the cast because he adds a bit of levity to the show. Right. I think last season we were a very serious and dark yeah, show, so intense. but you need to have moments of lightness in the show and I think Nick brings that of course. Yeah. And his style of comedy, I just love, I love his style of comedy. <laughs> it's, it's still so grounded. Yeah, it's yeah. grounded, yeah. but it's these little witty remarks that he throws in here and there and it mm -hmm. actually helps Sonny's character as well because 
you know, Sonny's not the most vocal of people, and he doesn't necessarily <laughs> like to share I, share what he's right. thinking with people, but kind of Baji, that character, forces it out of him. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, as an audience member, you get to see how Sonny is thinking more, more clearly now. Right, right, definitely. Now, what are some of the challenges this time around in season two? Or can you talk about filming? Well, I guess weather in Ireland, because, you know, we had extreme weather in New Orleans for first yes. season, um, but that was, you know, sweating and all that, so that was good for our muscles, whereas, mm -hmm. you know, in the cold, um, you know, we needed to focus a lot more on, on conditioning and, um, and Making stretching. Making sure we're warmed too. up all the time yeah. and all that. Yeah. Because cause your muscles constrict and you can, you can get injured and, and, you know, be out for weeks at a time. Yeah. So yeah. it was really important. But that said, I'd prefer to be in home. Ireland. And, and oh, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> beautiful. Well, well, no, Absolutely. simply because New Orleans was like 100 degrees and 90% humidity and you're and wearing a leather trench coat. You know? And you're trying to yeah. fight, And you're trying right? to fight yeah. in that. Yeah. It's, it's really, it was really tough. It was yeah. really tough. Yeah. I mean, it was physically exhausting. You had a hard time keeping weight on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish I had that. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I mean, put on like an extra 15 pounds of muscle and it was right. really hard to keep it on in that heat. You're sweating yeah. so, so much yeah. constantly. Yeah. Um, but this season, you know, in Ireland, it was much more comfortable. I think yeah. the challenge is this season is it's a much more longer season. season. Mm -hmm. It's 10 episodes. So how do you keep the fights interesting, exciting, right. and different every time? Right. You know? And so therefore, you saw you saw the first fight. There's already a difference in in the fighting that we did last season. Exactly. Um, and so and, th and that's the challenge: is keeping it fresh, keeping it new, even mm -hmm. though we're fighting like two or three fights every episode. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it's very easy to fall into a pattern or a trend, right. and then it becomes repetitive. And we don't want to do that with the show. We want it to be constantly fresh and constantly like shocking the audience yeah. with the stuff that we do on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of shocking the audience, <laughs> you definitely did that in the first episode. I mean, yeah. that ending. I don't know if I can say, but the twist to the, the end. The <laughs> twist to the end. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> How many more of those? Or is that going to happen at every season? Um, I think there's going to be twists and turns throughout. I think we needed a good kickoff for the first season, so that's yeah, definitely that's, a big shocker. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> but it's also the catalyst and the drive for the whole season because mm -hmm. once Sonny realizes that this guy has his girl and his baby, He's mad. Yeah, he wants to get him back, right? And all so. of a sudden, you want to go back to the band. <laughs> yes, I mean, yes. you know, all, all last season we we're figuring out trying to how to escape. Right. We then we get out. Now, now that my girl's still in there, I got to go back in there and get her. And so. Yeah that becomes the sort of focus of Sunny all season long. At right? the same time, trying to find each other, too, because mm -hmm. yeah, we know exactly. that we both play pivotal parts in being oh. able to actually escape. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, so if we're able, if we want to go to Azra and find mm -hmm. that place, we need each other to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. and um, I remember watching a video where the main goal for season one was to put martial arts in American television. Mm -hmm. Is What's the goal this season, or is there one? Well, I think it's 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 still the same is to keep that dynamic level of action up, the Hong Kong style of action on American television, but also just to make a great show. You know, it's not it is a martial arts drama, but you can't just have great action scenes and no not good drama. The storytelling has to be um, has to pull the audience is in uh, the, the 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 character development has to be enough mm -hmm. to bring you know a core audience that's not there just for the martial arts. Of right. course, we love that audience yeah. as well. But we want to be able to pull in, you know, this guy's mom and this guy's <laughs> uncle, you know, all these people to watch oh, the show. Yeah. We, want, we want this to be a, you know, universally a good show, not yeah. just a good martial arts well, show. I think it's a great show. I love it. I can't wait to see more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here today. Of course. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Don't miss Into the Badlands. It airs Sundays on AMC. For Generation Now, I'm Kat Aniba.